Hi, thanks for watching. I'm. This is a makeup tutorial for Pregu lashes, and I just want to tell you how I put them on and teach you how to put it on and how to take care of them. Sorry, my eyes are red. I'm pretty tired. I had a long week, and um, I also have no makeup on, so don't judge me, okay? <laughs> so I'm just here to show you how to put on these false lashes. This is F04. Um, basically what you would do with these is that they're pre-glued. They don't need any glue to be on. Basically how they adhere is when it, it uh, chemically reacts with your, your um, warmth of your blood, it gets tacky and it, it sticks on. And so you don't have to use glue or anything like that. Um, it's just such a wonderful product that I had to make a video and show you and tell you about it. So um, they're, pre -glue, they're mink pre-glued lashes and you would have to cut them. So I'm gonna show you how to put these on and what you're gonna need. So first you're gonna need the lashes obviously, tweezers and a mirror and a table so that you put, you can uh, make sure that your hands are steady as you apply these lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove and then when I remove it, I remove from in to out, okay? So I don't pull it just straight out, I peel it like curve so, so I don't ruin these lashes. So what I would do is, I'll keep my hands steady. I'll get these tweezers like so. And I'm gonna put it right into the middle of my eyes. When I think of putting these lashes, my hands are rested and it's staying still, I go up and I put it down, up and pull it down. So if your lashes are lifted, it's gonna be harder to put these on. You have to push those lashes down or you could probably glue it under. Um, it just depends on the technique that you're used to doing. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with just straight lashes because I have straight lashes and I have no makeup on. So we're gonna go straight up to end. So I'm gonna bring it as close as possible and push it into there. And the other side, I'm just gonna pull and bring it close as well. Sometimes when I bring this one too close, when I blink, it, it can be like I'm squishing my, my eyes together, like squinting, it won't feel good. But the fact that these lashes have the glue, it feels like a pillow on your eyes. It's really light and you barely feel it. Um, I am getting older, so I have wrinkles on my eyes and it gets uncomfortable to wear false lashes sometimes. Sometimes they're really stiff at the base. These don't feel like that at all. They actually feel really comfortable. So I'm gonna do the other one. How does that look? Looks like I have a ton of makeup, huh? I do it like so. Bring out my tweezers and just try to bring it as close to my lash line. Look, I messed up already. So close to my lash line as much as possible. And try it again. And you see how sticky they can be and after that you just push them in push them into your folds um, these lashes are false lashes um, I do lash extensions for a living so these lashes are easy to do for people who don't know how to wear lashes and they want to learn and they don't want to make a mess of their face and they don't want glue everywhere. These are perfect for those. They're perfect for chemo patients because it's light and there's nothing that can irritate your skin with it. It's actually pretty good for sensitive skin, in my opinion. But you know, I don't know what you're allergic. It, it doesn't feel like it is, I'm not sure if there's latex in it. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it's definitely good for or it's a just a self adhesive. So, and the beauty part, beautiful part about it is that it doesn't expire. So you can just leave it as long as it's in a cool, cool place and it's not um, dusty. Then you should be good because obviously, if there's too much dust, it's gonna cause all the dust to stick to the tackiness of the glue. But you can just run it, run it under water, and the results are great because you just have to rinse it off. So this is the re end result, and I hope you like it. So I hope that helped you. If you have any questions definitely ask me and I will help you further. Thanks for watching.